moving forward and you're exhaling droplets, the droplets actually are very light, so they will not keep moving along with you. You will actually leave them behind you in your trail. So if other people actually are then walking towards this droplet cloud, they can actually also walk through the droplet cloud. So this means that this uh, social distance that we now know will not be the same, will not be this 1.5 meter or 2 meter when you include rapid movements. It depends from the sport. If you are running and you are alone and you are in a, in a, in a nice uh, green area, then probably uh, there is not a strict requirement. But if it's a contact sport, then uh, yes, probably you should. Professional sport, well, I don't think that's possible. Probably the strategy with them should be just test them as soon as possible and isolate the track. But uh, even in this case, if I'm running, I would prefer to use my community mask rather than a PPE, where I am sure that the resistance of the community mask to my breathing is much lower. Mm -hmm.